Hey guys, what's up? It's Sly Cooper Rocks. Welcome to Let's Play Japanese Sly 2 Band of Thieves Part 11. In Part 10, we did Operation Trojan Tank, where we finished off Jailbreak. And unfortunately, the Katessa got away, but uh, we found her once again in a tangled web, where we started Know Your Enemy and Ghost Capture. Know Your Enemy, we did a little reconnaissance. And then Ghost Capture, we kind of tipped off um, Neela. Uh, by inserting some ghosts into her hideout um, and allowing her to think that that's the Contessa, um, you know, kind of waging war against her, um, antagoniz antagonizing her a little bit more, if you will. Um, and so we're hoping, after these next two levels, that, um, that uh, we're just going to kind of um, annoy Neela into uh, purchasing more firepower, making it a little bit harder for the Contessa to do her thing. Um, so we're in kind of in the middle of a war here, as you've probably already uh, saw last part. We got the tanks, and um, pretty soon we're going to start getting a little bit more than that. Um, so get ready for that. Um, right now we have two missions available, Kidnap the General and Mojo Trap Action. I'm probably going to be doing Mojo Trap Action first, just because I've gotten better at it over the years, but uh, in general, it's not my favorite mission. Um, I'm still a little shaky on it, and I haven't played it in a few months, probably more months than I'm willing to admit, um, and it's, it's not my favorite, so... There may be edits in this part, there may not, I don't know, but uh, we'll see. Um, anyway, so I've uh, gone ahead, gotten all the bottles except for one. Uh, however, the vault is inaccessible right now until we get Sly's uh, mission, actually my personal favorite mission in Sly 2, uh, Stealing Voices. So we're going to be getting the vault uh, whenever we go to that mission. So, But uh, instead of the vault, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the treasures first. Um, Right now, I'm next to the crystal vase. This is going to be our first, um, our first treasure. And the reason I started uh, here is because you have to get kind of to a high point, and I just wanted to, you know, be next to it already. So uh, this one's unarmed. So let's go ahead and hopefully not derp through these uh, searchlights. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. There we go. And oh, geez, look at that! Wow. I, uh, I, I, I didn't think I was going to get that there. Okay. Alright. Awesome. Okay. Whoops. Bentley, no. That circle button always trips me up. Alright. So let me go and sell these other things that are unimportant. So that's the crystal vase. Next, we're going to get the Royal Tierra, which is in the graveyard. So we're going to have to do a little bit of a uh, shortcut. Okay, that's totally not a shortcut. And I'm so dead. Or not. That's surprising. Oh, I hate this place. Okay, whatever. See, this is basically suicide running in here. Because you got, I hate, I hate that center area. Simply because you got so much going on. Let me go ahead and get out. Um, my next favorite gadget, other than the paraglider, would have to be uh, Silent Obliteration. Can't wait to get that. That one's a, a very nice one. Okay, so here's the Royal Tierra. And we'll see, uh, we'll see how well we do this. Um, let me see. I'm thinking maybe going up here and getting kind of an advantage point of the safe house. So maybe like running up here. There's the final bottle over there. Um, and then I guess just, yeah, that, I think that'll work. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's do the Royal Tierra. Uh, this might go over a little bit better than I originally thought, or it could go worse. Who knows? All right, so let's get this 
Very nice looking tiara. Yeah, we got a minute 15 to spare, so uh, let's see if we can do it. That guard almost put me off. Really badly. Okay. Safe house is over here. Can just slip over here. Probably, I normally do not like. Oh, well, there I go. Let's try it again. Man, it's always the searchlights. Those searchlights are deadly. As in, they're really hard for me to get by. I need to get some health soon, too. I'm about to die. They're still following me? Are you kidding me? Eh, it won't matter in a few minutes. Oh, here we go. Or a few seconds, I meant. Eh, dodge him again. Well, I'm kind of taking a different route, actually. Um. But, we'll see how this goes. Um. Uh, didn't really think this through, so I'm just gonna rush it again. Oh, well, there I go again. Well, that went well. Um, you know, actually, I'm gonna... Where where does that wire go, actually, over here? Um, because that might be a better route for me to take. I was trying to look for it, uh, but when you're on a timer, it's a little bit harder to uh, gauge where it is. Um, so where do, where does this wire lead to? I kind of wanna kind of wanna use this as my uh, point here. So it's let's see. So this is what I should have looked for in the first place. This this wire is really gonna help out. I think I just gotta jump up here. Make sure I'm jumping up there. Um, so I should have I actually should have um, taken that route before because. Going going into those searchlights is just not a good idea. Okay. So let's try this new uh, new route here. Totally not get caught. Okay, this is going to be a whole lot easier. Seeing as I don't have those dumb searchlights. Just try not to get damaged here. And here we go. I, I seriously should have taken this route uh, instead. Really, really should have. Okay, now let's just try not to get shot by a tank. That would be uh, optimal for a situation. Here we go. All right. Awesome. Okay, so now we have the Crystal Vase and Royal Tierra. And now we're gonna go get the, uh, what is it? Jeweled crown. So we have a tiara and a crown. Which uh, is interesting. I don't know why my phone's vibrating, but I put it on vibrate and you probably can still hear it. <laughs> Despite the fact that the sound's off, but you know, whatever. Whoa! If only I had those moves uh, a few minutes ago. Okay. Um, how can I do this without totally blowing it here? I think I could just. Nope. Did not think so at all. Okay, let's run the same way we did before. And, well, that's not going to help. Oh, well, geez, just smack me straight in the face. They don't normally do that. I was not expecting that at all. Holy crap, that was violent. Jeez, them vultures. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's go up here. Um, it's near Murray's job, which is over here, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Jeez, I did not expect that. They do not normally just smack you straight in the face like that. I guess they do if you're stupid enough to get close enough to them. Okay, so here's the royal crown. 
Um, I don't know why. Why is my phone still doing that? Oh, it's a Skype call. Okay. All right. So let's try and do this another way. No, oh, I'm gonna. Ha oh no! Here we go. I should have done this before. Got the very nice wire that I love so much. Oh, jeez. I thought I screwed it up there. Holy crap, man. I think this is has a uh, less time on it than the Tierra did, actually. Funny enough. Okay. Wow. Matter of seconds. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> that was interesting. All right, so now we have the uh We have the Royal Crown. Or no, not the Royal Crown. Why do I keep calling it the Royal Crown? It's the Jeweled Crown. The Royal Tierra and the Crystal Vase. So, we are set. Okay. So now let's actually start some missions. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go ahead and start off with, uh, like I said before, uh, we're going to do Mojo Trap action. Uh, mainly because it is not my favorite. Really is not. And that will be expressed whenever we uh, start. Bentley, why do you have to go in the searchlights? I hate these things. For that very reason, because now I'm probably caught. Yep, there we go. That's great. And they always follow. Yeah. This is a bad combo. Lay off already, would you? Okay, they did. Alright. Thankfully, I don't actually need health for this, system, for this uh, mission. Mainly because you only get one hit. And that's it. You're done. Um, actually, I'm going to mute my phone real quick because that's really starting to get annoying. Okay. Anyway. Alright, so this is Mojo Trap Action. Again, not my favorite. Kore desu. Contessa ga bad mojo o atsumeru tame ni tsukau collector desu. Hmm? Nikushimi ya netami nado warui kanjo ga atsumatte dekita energy desu. Sore o atsumete ここの仕掛けを吹っ飛ばすです。簡単そうだね。でもないです。バッドモジョとは非常に強い悪の力。コレクターにダメージを受けたら私も一緒にやられてしまうです。難しそうだね。そうです。これはとてつもなく難しい
This one's a little easy because you just kind of wait for uh, wait for two of them and then crush them. Um, and that's pretty much it. T for two. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that health here. I, I don't even think you have to wait for two. I think it's just just wait for one because these reset pretty pretty quickly. Um, however, this one's the easiest one, so no real skill or power or uh, pattern involved. Not exactly sure why it breaks, but that's just me. I I, I don't know. Murray's having a little trouble with our computer, uh, and he thinks he knows where the uh, job beacon should be, but he's not sure. Let's take a little detour here, and go over here. Is it this way? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and just get this guy. So we can get out of his way. Oh, here we go, yeah. I did I did actually go the right way. Cool. Okay. So if I remember correctly, I could just cheat. You could pretty much cheat here with this swinging thing. If there's like two of them that uh, that come by, you just kind of wait and then that will ricochet off. It's pretty entertaining. And it's kind of cheap. However, it's a way. I do, I do like using this a lot. When I figured it out, I was like, oh my gosh, I can do this with just one trap. Every once in a while, I uh, I mistime it, but um, for the most part, pretty great. Yeah, that is. It. So just sit here and you know just chill, make some popcorn, uh, get, get some uh. Rainbow Airhead Extremes. It's my currently favorite candy. I miss Airhead Extremes. Um, I remember uh, before they became like rainbowized, um, and they used to be like the uh, fruit roll-ups. You guys remember that? Where they used to be uh, these um, these giant rolls. That, those were the days. Now they're these just like tiny strips. They're still good, mind you, but. Um, I do remember those nice uh, fruit roll-up rolls. Those were nice uh, Airhead Extremes. Of course, that's that—that that was their first form when they came out, and um, I enjoyed them. I remember getting like a bulk package at Sam's of them, and uh, just oh, they were great. I'm a I'm a fan of uh, sour candy quite a bit. <laughs> All right, we're just flying through these things. Um, so I, I I have gotten better over the times I've played this mission. Uh, however, oh, that one's not the well one. I guess that one's next. Uh, he got he makes me uh feel a little paranoid, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take him out. 
Plus, I actually think I need to go that way anyway, so... We'll just, uh... Take that to... Yeah, okay, it is over here. Oh, I remember where this is. Yeah, we passed by it a few times. Well, probably more than a few, but... We did pass by it, so... Go ahead and get him out. Alright. Okay, this one I'm not a fan of. Uh, because I have to go from left to right. Um, so it's not really fun. So, I'm just gonna wait for a few. At least two. Um, but I kind of depend on uh, these two over here. Um, and they don't come back very easily. Um, so I just kind of have to risk myself uh, a bit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Not good. Come on. Oh, well that was smart. I didn't wait. Let me see if I can put a few bombs down, actually. Oh, jeez, man. Not cool, dude. Oh, gosh, it's over here. It's over here. Come on, guys. There we go. All right. Getting into some sort of rhythm. Oh, boy. Oh, come on. I didn't even see him. All right. Yeah, this one's the one that I get the most trouble with, I think. Um... The next one has a little bit more of a pattern that I can follow. Uh, however, this one's a little bit uh, more challenging to uh, to keep together. Yeah, I am gonna edit this out. This is way too many tries. Gosh, seriously? Here we go. Holy crap, come on. Go ahead and set you on fire. Follow the leader. Oh, jeez. Not fun. This is the money money shot. All right. Oh, I'm missing one guy. Come here. Hey, come on. Oh no, wait over here. Last two. Money shot. There we go. Okay, that is actually the hardest one for me. So the next one should go a little bit smoother. And, uh, you might have seen an edit, uh... Murray found a beacon in the well. Um... Sorry, anyway, um... You might have seen an edit. Uh, that's because that, that one took me, like, five tries. Five or six tries. That one's, um... A little bit harder because you have to risk yourself quite a bit. Um, however, the other ones do have a little bit more of a uh, pattern to them, whereas this one you kind of have to risk yourself a little bit more. Um, so that was why I kind of have a little bit of trouble with uh, this one. 
is a little bit more uh, laid back. Um, it's a faster, it's a faster uh, time rate, um, or faster pattern, I should say. Uh, so this one might take me a little bit, um, but if I can get the pattern right, oh, I already almost messed it up. But uh, these three here kind of have a pattern to them. So if you keep that without, well, great. I've already screwed it up. But if you keep the pattern going, um, and you're pretty quick with it, um, you can keep them at bay um, pretty easily. As long as you're pretty trigger happy. Um, if you can time it right. In fact, I'm going to try not to talk very much here and just kind of focus. I'm almost done anyway, so... Okay, so we're going to be going from a uh, pretty challenging mission. Not too challenging, uh, but I did have a hiccup uh, a little bit. Um, but that was because you really do have to risk yourself there. Um, so I did kind of have a little bit of, uh, of trouble um, with the third crypt. But other than that, um, I am pretty good with that. It's just the third crypt really throws me off. Um, all right, so let's uh, go back to the safe house and exchange for Murray. We're going to go kin kidnap uh, General Clawfoot. I, seri I put you asleep, you freaking vulture. And this is why I'm not a fan of Bentley. I put you a. Oh, jeez. I'm probably just gonna die. I'm probably not even gonna try. Because Bentley is pretty defenseless. Unless uh, if if you miss with your uh, your sleep darts, it's he's a challenge to break into combat with. I, I really dislike. I really dislike the fact that he has a crossbow, and yet. He doesn't use it like a crossbow. Alright. Uh, I don't know why I'm checking that. Because we shouldn't have anything. Because Bentley can't pickpocket. At least not until the third game. Um, okay. So, uh, let's go kidnap the general. And uh, see if we can do this in a pretty timely fashion. Um, I'm usually able to do this mission pretty quickly, however, it just depends on if I can get through the searchlights pretty well. Um, because dim searchlights are pretty annoying. Oh, great. Just go ahead and get rid of him, and then stealthily go over here. I actually thought that that other flashlight guard got me, um... But he didn't. That's uh, surprising. Hey, buddy, I need to use this place, so... Thanks. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Okay. So we gotta go... Over here and up here. And here we go. Is he gonna get in my way? Is he? No, he's not. Cool. Alright. So let's kidnap the general. Mm-hmm. 
来るのが嫌って言われたら乱暴はしたくないな心配いらないです彼の弱点は2つ木と水ですですがそれ以外は見た目よりも全然タフですから役に立ってくれるかもしれないですなあそれ本当 Alright, so this is more of a. More of a, um. Oh, what do you call those things? Escort mission. However, it's a little bit more forceful than that. Um, so this guy's a general, and he knows the, uh, the code to, um, turn off the searchlights that we've been trying to avoid. Not very gracefully, but we have been trying to avoid them. Um, and, uh, he's not afraid of anything except for water and fire. Uh, so we can kind of beat him around if we want. And I'm pretty... I, I knew that guard was going to get me. Um, but anyway, so we don't really have to get be too delicate with him, except for water and fire. And he's pretty blind as a bat. Excuse the expression, but he really is. Um... Okay, so let's see if we can't uh, gracefully take him back to the safe house. I do have some problems with this um, sometimes. However, we can use him as a exploded projectile, which is nice. Nice bonus. However, his talking does attract... Um, Guards. However, we're going to try and. Oh, never mind. I've never actually used him as a projectile like this, so. It's a new thing. Alright, buddy, come here. Okay. So I usually have a fine time with him, except for these searchlights really throw me off uh, sometimes. So, gotta... Alright. Here we go. Perfect. Cool. That's one of the shorter missions if you know where you're going. So. Alright. Here we go. お城の早く話したくないですか。話したくないですか。では、これなどいかがです。早く話すです。So apparently if you're ever trying to learn a code ではしごとに取り掛かりましょう。手始めにナイラとコンテスタの対立をエスカレートさせるんです。今私たちはワナを仕掛けるサイキン買い足された爆撃機のおかげでソルジャーどもが浮き足立っていますからこっちの準備が整う前に攻撃される危険はありますそこでマレーの出番ですあなたにはコンテスタの持っている戦車の一台に仕掛けをして街へ行
and Cryptac. Now again, Cryptac is another one of my absolute favorites, honest. Uh, no, really, that one takes me a, a bit uh, as well to get through. Um, so uh, anyway, we'll see how we do. Um, might do uh, Stealing Voices and Tank Showdown um, if we have enough time. I'm going to go ahead and do Stealing Voices because it is absolute, my, absolutely my favorite um, mission in Sly 2. Uh, mainly because it's just really funny to hear Bentley talk as Neela. Um, and it's just an interesting concept, too. Um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and do Stealing Voices. Uh, not only because it's my favorite, um, but also because the vault is uh, in one of the Stealing Voices rooms, uh, which is currently locked, which is why we couldn't get the vault at the beginning of this, uh, of this video, or this part. So, um... All right, let's go ahead and do some, uh, let's go ahead and steal some voices. Neela's, to be, uh, exact. Oh, it's actually over here, so I can just, um, just, uh, mosey on over here. Oh, well, maybe not as well as I thought. And he's going to come this way, so let's just go over here. Alright, here we go. Um, can I get up here without starting? There we go. Cool. Alright, stealing voices. Actually, let's get a better vantage point here. And back up a little. Awesome. Alright, stealing voices. Don't try this at home, kids. Could end really badly. That would be pretty cool to be able to steal somebody's voice just for a bit. Or exchange voices, much like the uh, the Fairly Odd Parents episode where uh, Timmy Ch um, steals Chip Skylark's voice for a little bit. That'd be cool if you could do, you know, just for a little bit. You know, I, I, you'd give it back, but um, that'd be kind of cool. Just for a little bit. Um, actually, you know, I got, I got a question. Um, I don't normally do these question video thingies where I ask a question in a video and you answer it in the comments. I don't do that often, but only when I come up with it. Uh, if you could steal anybody's voice, you know, just for a bit, uh, whose would you steal? Um, be pretty cool. I would probably, uh, I have a few in mind. Um, I'd probably steal Kevin Miller's voice just for a little bit. Um, I might steal Justin Warsham's voice for a little bit. And, uh, call me crazy, but I might steal Ashley Ball's voice for a little bit. Um, Ashley Ball, if you don't know, is the voice of Applejack and Rainbow Dash, so, uh, be kind of cool. Uh, I would probably steal a few more voices, um, but, uh, yeah, whose, whose voice would you steal if you had the chance? And, uh, you have to give it back. Um, but I guess I would go by the rules of the Fairly Odd Parents episode, to where, um, if you steal it, you have to give them your voice for a little bit, so... They would have your voice, or maybe you can duplicate it, I don't know, um, you can choose what situation you want, but I would go with the Fairly Odd Parents situation, because it makes the most sense, um, having two of the same voice doesn't really, anyway, let's start this mission, I'm going on a tangent, so, uh, but anyway, that's, th th those are the voices that I would steal, uh, for a little bit, and you have to give it back, so. Alright, anyway, we're starting stealing voices, this is probably the longest job intro I've ever done in this any let's play series so let's 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 go コンテスタはナイラの軍を操るためにボイスチェンジャーを使うようです。ナイラの声を真似して軍に偽物の命令をする作戦です。そのためにはまずナイラのヘッドコーターの地下に忍び込む必要があるんです。そうか。俺たち
Uh, there's like a, um, a loudspeaker right there, as you can see. Um, we're going to try and hack into that with the voice modulator and wiretap and project Neela's voice um, over the intercom to try to um, have her tanks um, have a su surprise attack on the Contessa. Um, and um, we're going to be able to fake a command to them to just charge full on into the, the castle. Uh, but first, we got to do quite a bit of pickpocketing. Uh, we got to get into the sewer. Um, so we got to pickpocket about four keys in total, I believe. Um, maybe six, I think. Maybe it's only four. Uh, but uh, let's let's get to pickpocketing here. Go ahead and wait for the middle guy to just uh, not face me real quick. And here we go. Alright, first key. Now we gotta sneak back. Just hang back real quick. And wait for that guy to make his rounds again. Camera's getting stuck. Turn it around. Alright. In for the kill. Eh. Oh man. Gonna have to wait a little bit. He's going clockwise, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Alright, so we gotta wait. Just a little bit, one more turn. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think so, but I, uh, I didn't think they, those guys were going to get set off like that. Alright. Anyway. Get out of here. No. Oh. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, jeez. What is my problem? There we go. I wasn't jumping far enough. Well, that wasn't fun. Pretty sure Sly did not enjoy getting electrocuted twice. Or drowned twice. Actually, that's what it was. I'm gonna make my situation just a little bit easier here. So let's, um... Do this. Boom. 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 Awesome. Okay, so now we gotta go across here. And go in the sewer. Oh, wait, what? Okay, I guess the sewer's later. <laughs> Alright. I thought we I thought we went into the I guess he meant uh we're gonna be doing that second. Um Okay. He's trying to get all the way to the sewer and I was going the wrong way. Alright. So I guess we, we go across from the re education tower then. Um which is good because then we can go get the last bottle and um unlock that place real fast. Okay, yeah, it is across from the uh, re-education tower. Wow, surprisingly, no guards came out of those statues. Very, uh, very surprising. Whoa. That freaked me out a little bit. Okay, so the last bottle is down here. Well, somewhere down here. That guy's sleeping on the job. You're not going to get paid very much. Oh, here it is. Right next to this guy. Did he just spit out a spider? Or did he just throw it on the ground? I couldn't tell. It looked like he spit it out. Weird. Alright. So, last bottle's here. And... Let's go. And yes, this is across from the re-education re tower. That's how I remember it. 
And I love how there's just padlocks on the door. It doesn't actually prevent the door from opening by any stage. They're just kind of there to represent that it's locked. You know, I'm kind of wondering if there's a way to uh, avoid these guys. There kind of is. If I just, uh... Well, that didn't work. There's plenty of electric charge go to go around, guys. Don't worry. Alright. And there's our beautiful vault. And there's the wiretap. Or no, I think that's a voice modulator. I think. I don't know. Okay, 969. Whoops. Oh wow, 50%. We are 50% done with the game. Sweet. Um, I believe that was Rage Bomb. Um, I'm just gonna look up real quick what, um, is that the wiretap or the voice modulator? I'm thinking it's the wiretap because I think the voice modulator is like the, the one with like the screen on it. Um, so one second, let me, uh, let me check this real quick. Yeah, okay, that is the wiretap. Alright, I didn't see it right away in the book so I had to read a little bit. But that is the wiretap. All right, which makes sense. All right, now we're off to get the voice modulator. By the way. Um, this next location, uh, you're not able to re-enter after you, uh, do this mission. Um, but if you want to see how to re-enter it, um, I do have a Stealing Voices glitch, uh, video. So, uh, if you have not seen that, I'll go ahead and put an annotation on the screen, uh, for you to watch that. Um, it's a pretty cool glitch, and, um, I quite enjoy it. Um, so if you have not seen it, go ahead and watch it. Anyway, uh, for those of you who have, have watched it, uh, we're going to continue with the mission. Or if you don't want to watch it, you know, that's your, uh, that's your call. I'm going to go ahead and wait for him to go back a little bit, just so I know where he actually turns back around. Okay, basically where the, uh, where the green is. So now we're going to have to really, yep, really gun it. Alright, where's the other guy? Okay. Alright. Well, that wasn't as clean cut as I thought it was going to be, but uh, we didn't make it, so hey. Hey. Oh, here we go. All right. Here's the other guy. This guy's a little bit uh, easier. Um, let me just see if I can go over here and get on that pole. Or on, on the this uh, iron wire pole. I don't know. I don't really know what to call these. So he's a little bit easier. Because we can just... Uh, Run back over here. Okay, so now we go in the sewer. Now we do. And we got to kindly wait for this boat over here. 
to just encircle. So uh, go and go ahead and wait for that. Real quick. Come on, buddy. Come on, boat on autopilot with no pilot. With no, I, I don't think anybody's actually in there. I think it's just a boat that drives itself. That didn't sound healthy. Oh, it's got a nice spider on it. I wonder if that's the Contessa's self-portrait or something. That'd be funny. Actually, you know what's funny? Um, I haven't been able to... Um, I haven't been able to duplicate this. Uh, but the first time that I was in this, uh, in this level... Um, or in this episode, um, I went through, uh, these sewerways, um, and I actually ended up getting stuck in this door here. Um, I'm not quite sure how to duplicate it, uh, but it was pretty funny. Um, so, uh, I was actually just in this door while it was still locked. Um, so, uh, pretty, pretty funny. Okay, I, okay. Oh... I guess I'm, I don't, I'm not going to the sewer. Well, I can't remember where we're supposed to go. I thought it was in the sewer. I guess not. Wait a minute. Okay, oh, I remember. Okay, never mind. Yeah, 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 we are supposed to go in the sewer, but we got one more set of guards to look out for. I forgot. Thought I was going mental for a second. I was like, wait a minute. Aren't we supposed to go in the sewer? You know, because uh, there are six keys. Um, I did question that before. And yeah, indeed, there are six keys. So uh, let's go get the rest of them. Yay. Well, not quite yet. We gotta get through this door here. Excuse me, Vulture. Excuse me. There we go. Yeah, and uh, this is where the glitch video is based. This room right here, because we're not able to enter it again. What I like to do is just hit that and then wait for him to just come back around. There we go. Oh, we gotta distract this guy too. So I can just hit this. Again. Have him wonder why coins have just, uh, gone out of a, uh, fire pit thing. All right, here's the voice modulator. Well, they call it a voice changer, but it is a voice modulator. You're just now getting back to your position, really? Kind of sad, buddy. Whatever. All right, got him. All right, now we got to pickpocket one more set of guys. I forgot. There's three sets. Thought I majorly derped a bit there. I did a little bit, but uh, I. Alright, if I remember correctly, they're where the guillotine is. So, uh... I believe that's over here. Yeah, here we go. So we've kind of got to hide under the guillotine and just wait for an open, uh, an open point. Like so.
And that guy's actually supposed to be moving. I don't know why he's just sitting there. Usually they're uh, they're both moving. But uh, he's uh, maybe he's ADD. Maybe he's just like I don't want to walk. I'm just gonna look at stuff and be distracted. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at stuff and be distracted. And I can totally say that, because I'm ADD too, so. You know. But yeah, he, he is supposed to be moving. It's really weird. Anyway, now we go to the freaking sewer. So I don't look like a dum dum. And there are guards everywhere. I'm telling you. Jeez. Okay, let's go back down here. Wait for the lovely boat one more time. And we'll be done with this mission. And get to my favorite part of it. Also, when I asked who whose voice would you steal, um, you can use the situation as uh, the Fairly Odd Parents episode rules. Or you can use um, this game's rules to where, you know, you just get like a loudspeaker. Uh, to where you can, um, use, uh, another person's voice. Or would you just, you know, steal somebody's voice and, um, like, actually be able to talk as them? Um, and that's kind of what I meant when I said my suggestions. Um. So, yeah. Just to clarify a little bit. <laughs> Creature that is. Maybe that's uh maybe that's Crusher's um Crusher's uh cousin? Crusher's uh brother, sister, mother, father, whatever. Maybe. Just a guess. Koitsu <laughs> Favorite line, or one of them. Job complete to my favorite mission in slide two. Um, I just love that. Hello, mercenaries. Would you mind spinning your turrets for me? Hey, this is cool. I mean, I mean, I mean, you are really cool. Carry on. I don't know why. That's that's just really fun to me. But uh, anyway, guys, go. Ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and close this part here. Um, I hope you enjoyed Let's Play Japanese Slide 2 Part 11. And um, I will catch you guys next Monday. Um, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to like and follow our Facebook and Twitter pages. Don't forget to follow my personal Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other two channels, Sly Cooper Rocks and Sora Rocks. I once again have been Sly Cooper Rocks. I will see you guys next time. Bro hoof and see you guys.